Hear me tonight. God is about to lift you. God is about to raise you. And I want to let you know that God is about to use you to mesmerize the kingdom and the activities of the forces of darkness. Therefore, tonight, I invite you to invite your friends. I invite you to share the link with others right now. And as we begin to pray tonight, there will be fire here, fire there. There will be fire here, fire there. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus, every satanic agenda, every demon agenda against your progress and against your life it will be silenced tonight in the mighty name of Jesus somebody shout fire here fire there I tell you the testimonies and stories of people coming on this altar is an amazing one and I'm believing God in the name of Jesus very soon it won't be long you will share your own testimony on this platform it won't be long you will share your own good news on this altar come on if you believe it let me hear your amen like thunder tonight we are praying the prayer against enemies of progress the prayer against enemies of progress is important because there are enemies everywhere people you think even that love you are the people that fight you people you don't even least expect are the ones that are the one the devil is using to fight you tonight we are praying the prayer against enemies of progress hear me these are the kind of people, if you have this issue, you need this prayer seriously. Till when you discover that things are not moving well in your career, that is when you need this prayer. When there is a satanic gang up against your career and against your destiny, you need this prayer. When there is, when your career life is being attacked by setback, disappointment, frustration, and division, and you discover your plan but to keep seeing frustration, you need this prayer. When you discover that promotion and advancement completely elude you elude your career you need this prayer when you discover you are unable to focus on attention on what God is expecting to do you need this prayer when you discover that you want to sharpen your spiritual sword you need this prayer hear me tonight there are enemies everywhere but the most dreaded enemies are the enemies that are after your progress but enemies that hate your progress what is the intention of the enemy to fight your progress they want to keep you at a spot they want you to join and make sure that they frustrate you they are happy seeing you crying they are happy seeing you not making progress you know it's just like in the classroom when other students are reading and there are those who are playing and at the end they want you that is ready to fail and them that are playing when the class is going on to pass how does it sound and that is what the program enemies of prayer progress prayers is important there are people who are lazy, they don't want to work, they don't want to do anything, but they yet they want to be like you. They want to bring you down, they want to be achievers. But hear me, it is whatever everyone sows that he reaps. But that prayer today is targeted on the enemies of progress. There are enemies that hate your peace. There are enemies that hate your joy. There are enemies that hate your progress. There are enemies that don't want you to laugh. Your laugh is their pain. Your smile is their pain. And I pray for some one here tonight i pray for someone here today whatever be the mission of the enemy against your life whatever be the mission of the enemy against your life and against your star i command that satanic mission and they destroy in the mighty name of jesus lift your voice and shut fire here fire there lift your voice and shut fire here fire there and i pray for someone no matter where you are hearing the sound of my voice and there are enemies after your progress is it not because of the the star you have that the enemies are fighting you is it not because of the progress the star of your family that's why the enemy want to eliminate your whole family the enemy want to destroy the entire family the problem your father is suffering today is because they are hurt they are afraid and they are they hate his progress why are they fighting your brother because of his progress why are they fighting you is because of your progress enemies hate progress and i pray for someone hearing me today no matter how the hatred of the enemy on you titans there is a god in heaven that will turn it around for good there is a god of in heaven that will eliminate the plans of the wicked one there is a god in heaven that will arise to fight your battle i pray for someone tonight 
as we begin to pray anywhere they are that ganged up against you they begin to scatter by fire someone how can someone that was to be ordained as a priest he came where they were planning for his ordination and then the, the mother came where they are planning our ordination and they begin to sing for her mama father oh, you, you. and all of a sudden a woman among them said oh if we allow this woman they will be calling her mama father and that was how the young man began to develop mental problem and i want to tell you there are good news to you and bad news to someone your testimony is someone's agony there are people that are angry when you are giving testimony there are people that hate your good news there are people that hate your progress i don't want you to play into the hands of your enemies i don't want you to play into the hands of the wicked and as we pray today as we fire prayer today every enemy is of progress in your life they will scatter by fire there are enemies of progress in your father's house there are people that are from the same father and mother that hate each other's progress there are people from the same community they hate each other's progress there are people from the same classroom the same cosmetics they hate your progress these enemies of progress they're various everywhere even in the marketplace even in the church even in the fellowship they are everywhere but is my prayer today that every Every enemy of progress in your life, every enemy of progress in your life, I pray for you today. Their plan against you will scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. When you get to the position where you are, do you know how many enemies that fought you to get to that seat? Do you know how many enemies that fought you to get to that position where you are? That could be all God or true. If left for the enemies, you won't be where you are. There are people here watching me today. Their marriage and relationships scattered because of the enemy. I'm seeing one of them already. The reason why your marriage did not work is because of the enemy of your progress. That person that was not happy that that man is coming to marry you in your father's house is the reason why that marriage did not hold. I want you in anger and in prayer of hot tears of the spirit to raise your battle scene and a dangerous one and say, God, if really this person is the person responsible, oh God, expose them by fire. And as you raise that battle scene, watch how God is going to expose them. And there is someone who are watching me today the reason why your brother had that accident he had was because of the wicked uncle raise your back to see that watch what god is going to do in that family and there is somebody who are watching and you are connected today the reason why you entered into the police case where you are is because of the enemies of the progress that is within and i'm praying for somebody today as you raise your back to see and cry i tell you in the name of the lord jesus all your weapon and oppression against you will scatter by fire it 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 will scatter by fire are they operating in your father's house are they operating in your village are they operating in your mother's house are they operating in your business area if you shut fire let their vision against you be scattered any of them on assignment against you any of them anointed by the devil to destroy you and destroy your career i pray for you today let the assignment of that wicked be totally destroyed in the powerful name of Jesus, somebody lift your voice and shout fire here, fire there. Every enemy of your progress. Do you know the reason why since you got married, you don't have a child? There are enemies somewhere that are fighting your pregnancy, that are fighting your conception. And you know why that life has been a life of frustration. Your father is late or your mother is late. Your brother is late. Everybody check the story of your family. It has been one story or the other. I pray for you today, child of God. Anywhere they are contending with you, Anywhere they are fighting you, anywhere they are attacking you, I command in the name of Jesus, let the mission of the enemy against you and your family be totally destroyed. In the name of Jesus, there is someone in your dream, you saw when they were shooting gun at you, but that gun entered but you didn't feel it. Raise a battle scene immediately against the projection of darkness that I've sent into your body. There is someone who are watching me. In the dream, they were giving you food to eat. In fact, they want to make you like every member of that family raise a member of the village so that you will go and come back raise a battle seed so that your life will not take back to the village i pray for someone right now by your battle seed i declare the force is holding you and your sister's marriage the yoke is destroyed today in the name of jesus the yoke is destroyed today in the name of jesus the yoke is destroyed today in the name of jesus the yoke is destroyed destroyed today in the name of Jesus. The yoke is destroyed today in the name of Jesus. The yoke is destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Shall fire here. 
fire there i want to report to you there are people watching me right now accidentally program against you it will not stand in the name of jesus christ there is someone who are connected to this program there is attack around you everywhere but hear me as you just join this program watch how those attacks will be disappearing one by one there is someone who are being contented with the serpentine spirit that is fighting you in the dream and in the physical i pray for you today that serpent will die in the name of jesus christ there is somebody who are watching me today you have been attacked by demons of masquerade help me raise your battle seed against that demon of masquerade they will not tie you down they will not destroy you they will not frustrate you they will not paralyze you i declare today the assignment of the weekend the assignment of the enemy against your life against your destiny be totally destroyed be totally destroyed be totally destroyed in the name of jesus i say today the mission of the enemy is totally destroyed somebody shall fire here fire there. Somebody shall fire here, fire there. Somebody shall fire here, fire there. Somebody shall fire here, fire there. Anywhere they reported your case in the realm of the spirit. Look at what happened to Daniel. Who are the people that rose against Daniel? They were people that were working with him. Do you know the closest enemies you have are the reason of your problem? Do you know the people you call friends are the ones behind your problem? I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. The assignment of the wicked against you. The assignment of the enemy that is fighting your progress. I command their powers to be scattered in the name of jesus you will get that job you will get that promotion you will get that visa you will get that job you will get that certificate you will get it in the name of jesus i prophesy unto you your hand is filled with the blessings your hand is filled with the blessing somebody you are worried but god said to me your worry is turned into testimony today your worry is turned into testimony today as we fire prayer today you will see the lord will eliminate the enemies of your progress and then your progress must surely come to pass somebody shout a louder amen let's take the stories of people but i'll still apologize to some we i didn't check so many of your texting stories the ones i picked in the morning because i was so busy for the outreach we are doing and we had today that was why i couldn't pick some of your stories i saw somebody that said things like scorpions and other things i didn't bring them out and all that stories please i will still take your bring out your 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 prayers or your your testimonies by tomorrow let those here listen to the ones we have today and tomorrow. Good afternoon, Daddy. My name is Gift from Lagos. I joined the Twitter app program for singles today. I thought it would get to my turn to speak, but you rounded up. I am a single mom of two boys who married in 2014 before being separated in 2018 due violence from day one of the marriage. I almost died. I kept praying to God to give me my own husband, and in 2021, a guy who is based in the USA met me. We started dating, and he tried to move me to join him, but to no avail. He came to Nigeria in 2023, and we had a serious quarrel, and he blocked me. I kept praying the midnight prayer, joining the marathon prayers. He called me one day and started apologizing. Daddy whenever he tries to propose to me. I will see myself in my village river fetching water, but ever since I dropped my battle seed in November last year, and another one this year, that evil dream stopped. Since the battle seed, people have been fighting me in the dream every day. I did dry fasting for three days and three nights for God to reveal the one meant for me out of the three guys that are interested in me, and it is this very guy I saw discussing with my dad in the dream. The problem now is that he is so insecure. Pray for me, he is visiting Nigeria again. My birthday is April 17th. I want God to give me my husband, because I feed and pay my kids school fees alone. My ex-husband boldly refused to support, and said that until I come to him. He can't take responsibility. I don't want to die. It is only this guy in the USA that helped me pay at times, but I have to ask first. Daddy, pray for me so that I can settle maritally and with a federal job in my nursing career or visa approval. Wow. So your name is Faith. Thank God for your stories, but I want to let you know that the good things you did was to work out so that you will not die in that toxic relationship. That's the good thing you did. 
Number two, you need to know that there is a spiritual power connected to the problem and the battle we are going through. And if you will get it well, we have to take it in the reign of the spiritual. You said you are in Lagos, and I pray for you. If God will give you the opportunity to come and sleep in Abuja for the period of one week on the on the mountain top here and that would be amazing so that to have a spiritual journey to deal with the forces that is fighting your relationship and i pray for you right now and even as i'm praying for you you have to watch your character because anger is a reason is, is also a reason whereby nobody will come to settle down with someone that is loaded with anger anger have destroyed life anger have destroyed relationship anger have destroyed a lot of homes and i pray for you that those anger if it is found in you be rooted out in the name of Jesus and any demonic power any spiritual force that is behind the attack of the battle you are going through I command that spiritual attack to be destroyed in the name of Jesus somebody shout fire here fire there good morning sir my name is Oge from Anambra but resides in Asaba please pray for me and my brother I am above 35 years old and still single I have had several disappointments at the edge of my marriage celebration. Once the man makes his intentions known and I accept his proposal, within a short time, he will begin to pull away. Immediately he gets married to another, he will begin to regret not marrying me and will want us to be intimate friends. I also have sex in the dream at times. I have prayed, but still it keeps happening. Secondly, my only brother, among eight girls is into drugs for more than 12 years now and I have done everything possible to save him but to no avail. Once he's about to be somebody and start doing something like job, immediately he starts seeing your money. Before you know it, he will leave the house and start using my name, the only person saving him to scam people of their money and phones. He will not come back till after a month or two months. After I repay those people, he comes back begging and I will forgive him and begin to trust on God for his deliverance. He will be so nice and a good boy, though he's 34 years now, and before two or three months, he will do worse than that again, and that makes my heart bleed for trying to save him. My mother is late because of this issue, my father is old, 87 years now. Please help us, sir. You will not die because of somebody. You will not kill yourself because of somebody, but all you need to do is to turn into prayer for your brother. And I want to pray for you this prayer. The power that chases men away, that makes them come and leave. Anything that the devil deposited in you that makes them come and leave. I command that power to be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let the assignment of the enemy against your life, against your destiny, against your career. Let it be scattered by fire. Somebody shall fire. I decree you will settle down well. When I was 12 or 13 years, my mother's uncle's son slept with me. Please sir, pray for me, because I don't know how to disclose it to anybody as I was growing up. The memory is still clear in my mind. I dreamt one day and saw, where they chained my hands up and were surrounded by some guy with guns, my mother's uncle's children were there watching like it was a movie. While I was in my father's compound, my father's uncle two sons took me inside their room when I was like six or seven years old, that day, they brought out one small container and opened it and began to apply the content all over my body. I didn't tell my parents, but as I am growing up, God is revealing that thing they did to me. But I don't know the meaning. Now, my younger sister is staying with me here, and she is a problem to me. If I pray, she will tell me that she will see how God will answer me. As I join the marathon prayer, if I stay inside the room to pray, it's a problem, and if I stay outside, she will go opposite me to oppose me saying that all I am doing is in vain. Before I enter the room, she will pour water on the entrance. Today, as I saw it, I shouted fire here fire there, and she said that my prayers no carry fire. My problem is no job, no marriage, no money, no house. If not I will pack and leave her here. We have problem of accommodation and my pastor gave us a small place to stay since three years now. We are staying inside the church and they are using my sister against me. Please help me. 
The kind of curses that comes out of her mouth is too much. She always insults me. I need your prayers, sir. God will continue to lift you higher in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. You can hear this story. But I pray for you, young lady, that the power of the force is fighting you because it is not yet over. That church where you are, I want you to make up a time and fast and open your spirit for God to deal with the powers that are contending with you. It is the enemy that has entered into your sister to fight you. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, any force, any satanic kingdom, any satanic altar, on assignment over your head, if you shut fire, let their power be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Fire here, fire there. Finally, I have been able to raise the battle seed. My sister has been sick since August last year. This battle started when her son wanted to be a reverend father. After his minor seminary examinations and one year training before he goes to major seminary, the enemy started fighting and he was discouraged and quitted. Later, he joined NDA and the battle increased. They want to kill the mother by all means, but God has disappointed them. The husband and his family are fighting physically and spiritually against her and anyone praying for her healing. Presently now, she can't walk nor sit down. My mother died young at the age of 50 because the enemy said she gave birth to children and they will take care of her once the children are okay. Now, they want to take the life of my sister because her son is about becoming a naval officer. Daddy, please pray for her and for all of us. Her name is Rosaline Inakpotike Ejidi from Delta State. You can see what wickedness we are talking about. Why are they fighting them? Because they are seeing that new things is about to happen in their family. What did people do people self? What did you do to people? To, what, what, what problem, what problem do we have for people? But I pray for you today. Anybody that vow not to give you rest, this altar will slay them by fire. This altar will slay them by fire. Lift your voice and shut fire here, fire there. Young lady, I pray for your family. God will enter that family with Koboko and will begin to deal with one of them one after the other. Your family will raise their head in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Daddy. I had a bad dream last night. Please, I need you to help me in prayer. I have been believing God for higher paying nursing job, of which some good people have promised me to help me with their influence to get one. They have been telling me to exercise some patience that they will get back to me. So in my dream, I saw myself going for the job interview, but I did not excel through. So I was like, let me go back to this my current place of work, where I have been wanting to live at all costs because of dryness, delay of salary and manipulations from my boss. In that dream, it was as if all my life depends on this my current place of work. I said in my dream that I hope my boss will accept me back at least, so that I can be having salary at least. Meanwhile, I didn't tell my boss in that dream that I was going for an interview, but when I went to his clinic, he was behaving angrily with me. It happened that he brought his children that were in medical school to come and bridge my gap because there is this therapy he is doing for his patients and I am the only one who knows how to do it in his clinic. I am also the matron of his clinic because of my qualifications and experiences. So even his children were looking at me somehow as if they have been told something about me. I was literally begging for me to be accepted via the way I was discharging my service, yet my boss in that dream was still angry and was acting as if I don't have any way out. Except for his clinic, and because of that, he was ignoring me. Daddy, I am not comfortable with this dream, because I want to leave this place at all costs. I have sown my battle seed for God's intervention few days ago. Does it mean that my boss is monitoring my ways? and does not want me to live. Fire here, fire there. I must be set free in Jesus' name, amen. Daddy, I need your prayers. I am wasting away here. I need career upliftment. And the Lord will help you. And I pray for you that whatever be the power that want to scatter what you have gathered, 
the enemies that rose against you to scatter the effort you have gathered. I command their powers to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and I decree any power that is monitoring you today, I blind their eyes in the name of Jesus. Every power monitoring you, I command their eyes to blind in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and shout fire here, fire there. Lift your voice and shout it. Good morning, sir. My name is Thelma Elemi and I live in Abuja. I have a testimony. I am a salary earner and my employer increased our salary last year. I used to have this dream of seeing myself naked in the dream few days before my salary day and it happens every month and when that happens, all my salary will just go. I won't even know what I did with the money and then I will start borrowing from the beginning of the new month. Last year, I came for the October program, and I sowed battle seed with the last money I had, and that was how the dream stopped. I have been able to buy a fridge and some other house appliances. I give God the glory for using evangelist I.G. Newman to give me this testimony. Secondly, I used to dream of sleeping with different men in my dream, getting married in the dream, having good relationships in the dream, but in real life, it's only married men and old men that come for me. I have never had any good relationship in reality. But after that October program, the dreams have stopped and I am believing God for marital bliss and financial stability. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Those spiritual attack that comes in your dream, those forces sleeping with you, attacking you in a dream, it means there is a marine altar sponsoring your battle. But I pray from this altar today, in the name of Jesus, every marine altar that is behind your battle, I command that altar to catch fire now. Lift your voice and shout fire here, fire there. I declare your deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Man of God, I follow your online prayers occasionally, and I see how God is using you to liberate people from bondages of all kind. How will I come out of my case? My mom was married to my father, but she was the breadwinner and never had a husband's love. She eventually became a widow. I married, but was not loved by my husband, he also died. I am presently a widow. Another issue is that my children are due for marriage, age 39 and 34, but no sign. When I encouraged them for us to seek for a prophet like you, they were against me, even the younger one doesn't completely agree with me. I am a charismatic member, and they hate everything about it. I go alone, and none of my six children follows me. I have your books, including Battle of the Midnight. I pray and fast until I decided not to fast much. Please sir, help me out. I am from Cross River battle must end in the name of Jesus. Since you are connected to this altar, you could hear battles and stories of what people are going through. Young lady, anywhere you are in Calabar and you are connected to this altar, I decree, I declare the battle going on in your life, let it be totally terminated in the name of Jesus. Let the battle be terminated in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice anywhere, say, Lord, set me free. Shout it, Lord, set me free. Shout it, Lord, set me free. In the name of Jesus. Good afternoon, man of God. I am Melody, from Zambia. I have been following your prayers since last month, February. I had a dream, where I was beating a certain woman and that was on Thursday, and on Friday, I had a dream where someone was throwing soil on me and I threw it back on her body. Man of God, on Saturday, I dreamt that we met physically and you started praying for me and you saw something bad which was coming out from my legs the same day you were praying for me. You mentioned to me that I am free now and nothing will happen to me. Man of God, please help me. I have been having bad dreams. I connect myself, my husband, my kids, my brothers and my mother. Fire here, fire there. Man of God, thank you so much. May God continue to bless you. Zambia. Your prayers are really helping me. Zambia. 
you are from Zambia and I tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus even tonight as we begin to pray the power of God is going to set so many captives free a lot of people are going to be loosed from the bondage of the enemy hear me right now there is somebody who are going to receive some money in dollars and that money has been delayed but that money is released today in the power for name of Jesus there is someone who are watching me right now somebody promised you help but that help has not been coming I decree today any power delaying your help let that power be rooted up now and there is someone who are watching me there is a grave in your family there is three graves in your family help me today at this season of this lead especially on this holy week I want you to raise your battle seed against any grave of death in the name of Jesus there is somebody who are watching me and you are doing as if you are sleeping let me tell you there is a force of death around your area raise your battle seed as quick as possible right now as we are going to pray anywhere you are pray your way out enemies begin the prayer against enemies of your progress enemies of your success enemies that hate your progress I decree right now as we begin to pray let them begin to catch fire one by one one two three four and then five Lift your hand and lift your voice and say, Father, Father, locate me today. Locate me today. Every enemy, every enemy of my testimony, of my testimony, wherever they are, wherever they are, as I shout fire, as I shout fire, twenty-one times, twenty-one times, clapping my hands, clapping my hands, prayer, two, fire, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 14 Fire, 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 fire,
say, my father, my father, my father, my father, is father, the loudest your voice can carry. My father, 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 Enemy manifested. Enemy manifested. The day of announcement. The day of announcement. You are a liar. You are a liar. As I begin to pray, As I begin to pray. Pray be my heart. I be my heart. Ah, up your mother, pray. I go to the other guy. Every enemy manifested. Now the day of announcement. In form of sickness. In form of failure. In form of mistake. In form of failure. I go to the other guy. Get voice I say, Father, Father, every enemy at the edge of my breakthrough, every enemy at the edge of my breakthrough, whoever you are, wherever you are, whoever you are. As I shout fire, as I shout fire, to it one time, to one time, clapping my hands, shouting fire, shouting fire, die, die, fire, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Shout it, 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 sh
Every spiritual chair, every spiritual chair, every spiritual room, every spiritual room, holding my Lord, holding my Lord, holding my hand, holding my God, I cannot access my place, and I stand by the side, run around, I stand by the side, for you, shout your fire, break out, I break out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Anyone that his hand or her hand, anyone that his hand or her hand, is in my problem. Is in my problem. As I shout fire, as I shout fire, screaming fire, screaming fire, hundred times, hundred times, let the fire, let the fire, live here to locate them, live here to locate them, I kill them, I kill them. One, two, three, go, fire.
fire, yeah, 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 ye
progress. I command their powers to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Enemy that hates your progress, I command the assignment against you to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Any part of your body that is under attack, I command that force to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. You started building, you started a building project in the village and all of a sudden you came under attack. Raise your battle seat and I command any force that is attacking good things in your life. Let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and shout fire here, fire there. I decree and I declare the powers, the forces contending with your progress. I command them to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone right now. The attack of the enemy is on the back pain. I command that back pain to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There is someone who are following me right now and there is an attack on your health. Attack on your health. I command the forces attacking and feeding on your flesh. Let their powers be broken and be shattered in the name of Jesus. There is someone who are connected. Not only are you connected, there are powers that are fighting what is it? The building project you are doing. Hear me right now. As you raise that battle seat, let the attack come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, your child is having a problem with the hair. He's coming crying and he's on the air. Use your razor in the name of Jesus and crimp that hair for that child to come back and be strengthened again. I pray for someone right now that the power of the enemy walking against you, I command it to be deleted completely in the powerful name of Jesus. I command right now, there is someone who had a bad dream, I mean a bad dream, raise your back to sit against that bad dream and declare with tears, enemy is looking for my head, let them go down by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout fire here, fire there. Touch the cross and declare, I am a billionaire. The oil of God upon your head will never run dry. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In the name of J-E-S-U-S. -S. Your breakthrough water. I pray over your breakthrough water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the power of God mingle with it. The grace of God mingle with it. Shut fire into the water. I pray that the fire that enters into the water, let the water be totally transformed. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the attack of the enemy be nullified. In the name of Jesus, I drink your water. I want to encourage all of us to prepare. And those of you singles, remember our program on Twitter space. We are going to be that on Easter Sunday and at the same time on Easter Monday. And I want you to know that God is interested in you. And there is someone who are watching me right now. The enemies have been projecting madness. They have been sending the spirit of madness to you. Raise the battle to see let that madness go back to the enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to know that this very particular, oh, three months of God of vengeance for the month of April is on the line. Hear me, child of God, this month of April, be prepared. There is going to be a mighty move of God at the mountaintop program in Abuja. I'm inviting you to invite someone. I'm inviting you to invite your brothers and sisters. And I know by the grace of God, you shall all testify in the name of Jesus. If you have not joined any of the group of WhatsApp of our program, just look on the screen and then they the ones of the area where you are will post and then make to them they will make sure they join you in a group the people of Canada, the people in the United States, those of you in Lagos those of you in Oka, those of you in uh, Port Harcourt, remember I'm coming to Port Harcourt the last week of April this very particular month I'm coming to Oka, I'm coming to Oka, I'm coming to Port Harcourt the last week of April, the last week of April, everybody get prepared and God bless you, before you sleep tonight, make sure you shout 300 hot Holy Ghost fire and 300 fire here, fire there, as you are shouting they turning around and I tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will give you a turnaround miracle and testimony. I'll be in the office tomorrow. I'll be in the office again for tomorrow for our lunch, our prayer. And I invite you to be part of the meeting and God bless you. I love you from the depth of my heart and I wish you the best for the season in the name of Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit, and let everyone shout a thundering Amen. God bless you. Shut up.